countries in Latin America in talent for crypto. Probably the majority of the work in crypto is that kind of kind of transfer from oil and gas and then building modular building blocks for people to build on. Hey everyone, thank you so much for joining the Behind the Company Lines podcast. I actually love the whole construction process. I really love getting to see a design of what someone has created and it's all on paper. You know, you've only get just got like an inkling of what that's truly going to look like. And then really getting into the process and seeing all this craftsmanship come into it with construction companies coming in and building out you know, just amazing architectural designs in terms of like commercial buildings and bridges, even down to homes. It's just amazing what you can create. And so for me, it was really thrilling getting to work with some of these top architects. Think about like the first time that yeah. you were driving, you, no one just gave you the keys and just told you, okay, let's go. And we looked at it at the same in the video game. And most parents today don't sit by their uh, kids when they play video games. They don't show them how to play and what is the right way to do that. And we look at ourselves as, as the seatbelt, as, as the way to protect kids once they start dealing with those video games, to teach them how to do that, to recommend parents how kids can benefit from those video games. Because I believe that video games are great. They provide a lot of value to kids. And we just have to do it in a very safe I way. Kind of alternated between software management, product side, and actual just hardcore engineering. Yeah, what's your favorite part of the process? Oh boy. You know, honestly, I love feeling like I can build as fast as I can think. So I'm a big fan yeah. of prototyping. I love prototype driven development because I want to see in a 360 degree way, how the whole thing is going to work. It's, startup, it's almost, there is no protection to yeah. the world outside. It's like you're running on a scooter and it's a, just a little tiny frame. And so you can explode your face, but you can also have, you feel all the breeze on you and you talk with users directly. You are very much exposed and you like, you can pivot everything that you have as an impact because in day to day, if you don't go to work, maybe a lot of things are not happening. Well, when it's a big yeah. company, if you're not there for a couple of weeks, maybe people don't almost notice, of course, your team is a bit different. So in a startup, you're really random. I'll just kind of philosophically tell you, like, I believe at the bottom of my heart and in practical reality that if you focus on growing a business, the value, the equity value of a business by creating sustainable, predictable, transferable cash flow and growing the equity value, I don't care what anybody's revenue is. Like, what's the equity value of your company and how are you growing that by creating good cash flow? You're going to have as many choices as you want. And then you're going to be able to run the process to sell your business. Thank you.